What's up YouTube, Everything Apple Pro here, and this is take two on my video on how to fix error 3194 and firmware not compatible. Now this happens when Apple notices that you have updated your firmware and it no longer supports the older 4.1 firmware so it won't let you downgrade. And now what we're going to be doing is redirecting the IP address to Sarik server so it will allow you to downgrade. And this again works on error 3194 and firmware not compatible and if you do not have SHSH files saved this will not work guys I'm telling you right now to save you the struggle if you have ever jailbroken and it asks you to make your life easier and you clicked it then you have your SHSH file saved but if you don't have your 4.1 saved if you have access to Cydia you can check it right here and if you've ever used Tiny Umbrella that works also you just need your iOS 4.1 SHSH file saved in order for this to work okay guys so what I'm gonna have you do now is open up my computer then access your disk and scroll down to Windows and then system 32 and then go down to drivers and etc etc and in here you may find a file called hosts if you do not just be patient I'll go to you in a second for those of you that have hosts what you will do is double click and open it with notepad and in here what you will do is you'll scroll down you may not have all of this just a little bit and there will not be this so you will have nothing down here you'll go to my description where I have a host that you need to copy that will look like this and you will paste it just on the bottom right here and then you will save it as save as hosts on your desktop because it, for some reason it does not save in that folder but if you save it on your desktop you will see a host.txt file what you'll do is you'll double you'll click on it to rename it and then delete the .txt and click enter and yes you want to change it so it'll look just it'll look just like a little blank sheet of paper called hosts and then you go back to the etc folder and you will drag hosts in and replace it with the one you have and continue and when you open it it will have the little IP address on the bottom saved and you can skip ahead and you can watch the part on how to restore it but now that you've saved that for those of you that don't have the hosts file we will be creating a new one so click new right click on your desktop click new txt file text document and we will be renaming it to hosts and it should look like host.txt so you'll click on it and in the description I will have I'll have actually something that you will copy and paste. You'll copy the whole thing starting from the number symbol down to the IP address and you'll paste it in here. So it will look like this guys. And then you will click file save as and save it on your desktop as just host. Delete the .txt. So just hosts. And yes. And it does save as a .txt again. It'll just click on it to rename it and delete the .txt and so it just should look like a white sheet of paper called hosts and then you'll go back to the etc folder and you will drag that host file in but for the most part all of you guys should have hosts in there alright so once you've done that guys real quick you will need to close your iTunes and reopen it for it to take effect or better yet just reboot your system and most of you pretty much all of you will get the 1015 error when restoring and f and when you do click on the link right here it'll be up here throughout the video and it'll take you to a fix video that's really quick and again if you do get the error guys that means your SHSH isn't saved and you will need to wait for a future fix and thanks a lot you guys continue guys and if it turns out that you can't downgrade so you don't have your SHSH file saved it's not over if you're on 4.2.1 then there is a jailbreak available for you guys it's just you guys will not be able to downgrade for whatever reason you guys wanted to so it's not really a big deal but for some of you it may be but there is a solution so I'll put a link right here for a video on the 4.2.1 jailbreak okay so once you have restarted iTunes you will connect your iPhone you will put it into DFU mode by holding this and this for 10 seconds and letting go of the power keep holding the home button I have a video on it too put a link right here and you'll put it into DFU mode and then from iTunes you will 
shift click restore to a lower firmware whether it be 4.0 or 4.1 and if you have your SHSH files saved for it it will let you downgrade and it's as easy as that guys so I really hope you like this improved video please comment rate and subscribe to my channel peace guys